What's going on, everybody? Z here. Welcome back to some more Satisfactory. So we just got done streaming some Satisfactory. We got some things done. Got some things rock and rolling. And I would like to showcase what we got done. And then we're going to move on to other things. Hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do, don't forget to leave a like. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. And uh, yeah, twitch.tv slash if you guys want to catch live streams, actions and stuff like that. All right. So we have got to start with the railgun. Tons of people were asking me about this thing on the stream so we had to create one and we had to make it and we had to test it ourselves so i want to talk to you about this just a little bit because i guarantee you probably have heard of it if you haven't heard of it well then congratulations this is your first time welcome anyways it's basically as the kids call it a yeet cannon <laughs> anyways uh it launches you across the map at unparalleled speed and adventure anyways let's get rocking and rolling so basically what you do is you make something similar to this now i'm going to get in how to make this uh in a little bit but let's just demonstrate its capabilities so uh i made mine way way too big and when you make it way too big well some things happen so let me let me just go ahead and ex uh, let me just show you what happens if you decide to make this thing way too large i think this is like 40 something uh entrances that are chained so uh let me give you a quick quick demonstration here you get going super fast you launch and the game freezes <laughs> well it doesn't freeze completely like there's still particle effects and things like that going on but i like to break it down essentially that we went so fast that the game could not keep up and it could not kill us in time so basically you'll just sit here forever until you can respawn so basically you just respawn and that's it so that 40 is too fast nothing you can do about it just just don't don't make 40 of them you, you don't need that but let's let's drop it down a little bit to something that's a little bit more usable so i would say the most usable location of this guy is about 18 to 20 if you actually want to land possibly somewhere maybe a little bit less but let's go ahead and check out what 18 delivers you so this one right here i know this one's 14 because i already counted them out it's a thing uh, so 15, 16, 17, 18. Boom, this one right here. So let's check out what 18 has to offer. As you can see, we shoot across the map at unparalleled speeds. There's a little bit of fog. I've tried to get rid of the fog, but nothing we can do. And then eventually everything fades out and we eventually die. Still going, still going strong right over the map. You can see the map border right there. Look at that beautiful, beautiful squarical thing. And we're done. But we can keep going we can keep going all right let's get out of here so 18 is a little bit much i mean you can actually kind of see something which is i mean i guess cool but let's drop it down to like uh let's go to like 15 all right so like i said that one's 14 let's go ahead and go to 15 and you can see you start slowing down significantly uh we're not gonna make it clear across the map maybe 17 might have been the the choice here but we're gonna smack into this mountainside at an unparalleled speed and what how did we survive that? Wait, hold on a second. If I'm not mistaken, isn't this where uranium's at? Let's scan for some uranium here. All right, I was completely wrong. There is no uranium here. I thought there was. Okay, uranium's apparently that way. Uh, well, <laughs> oh, we are in an interesting predicament because I've never survived one of these. Actually, we did survive one because we landed in water, but it was still terrible. It was still absolutely awful. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and <laughs> probably uh, look at that. We uh, we opened up the path that we went straight that way. <laughs> so actually, you know, what's interesting is going from 18 to 14 dropped us down that far. So maybe if we went to 15, we could be next to the uranium. Oh, it's gone now. We could be semi close. Let's give that a try. All right, so we got 14 there. 15 wasn't quite enough. 16, 17, 18 was the one we went at. Let's go with, uh, let's go with 16. Let's see where 16 gets us. Whoop! And away we go. Uh, a little bit further. So we landed right there in that mountain last time. And it looks as though we're going to smack into the side of this mountain right here and somehow survive again. What is going on here? How are we surviving this? I don't even understand. Uh, we got some wonderful cats here, so we're definitely not going to survive this. Let's go ahead and head up here. <laughs> Stop it. Stop. Oh my god, they're even meowing. This is terrifying. 
Stop meowing. Oh, God. Yep. Okay. We're going to die for sure. But uh, <laughs> we made it over here. I mean, I guess that's I guess that's a cool. Oh, there's a beautiful stone sculpture. My gosh. Who built this? I demand to know. Let's do a quick scan. Where's the uranium map now? Let's pull up the map, shall we? Oh, it should be like right here. 532. Oh, we are right next to one. Holy moly, this is fantastic. And the only reason I care about uranium is because we're going to eventually need solar power. Or, uh, uh, oh, there's a laser doggo. What are you doing, man? What are you doing? Oh, he's so cute. We love him. We need uranium for nuclear power because we did actually unlock nuclear power during the during the stream. Oh, look at look at that. There's a whole bunch of uranium here. Hey, you know what? I needed to die anyways. Let's just go ahead and hang out here for a little bit. Look at these beautiful green rocks. Should we just mine it? <laughs> Don't mind the uranium. All right, so we know how to do that. We know all the things we we know how far it takes us roughly. I would say usable depending on where you're at in the map and depending on how far you really want to go. I would say probably anywhere between 15 and 18 of these in a row. So let me go ahead and let me show you how we made this. Now, this guy right here was kind of, oh God, there's a train. Oh my God, that scared the crap. <laughs> uh, with this guy, you can actually adjust it. So I wanted to go that way this time. So let's say I wanted to go, uh, let's say I wanted to go somewhere like over that way. Basically what you want to do is if you put it too high, you're going to shoot straight up. And you're going to hit the skybox. The skybox is essentially the, the, uh, the, the altitude at which you just immediately start taking damage and die. So that right there, that little first tick deal is pretty good. You can pretty much uh, soar across the map at unparalleled speeds. Like I said before, uh, one, two, okay. One, two, three, four. Let's go with the uh, 14, 15, let's go 16 and let's shoot over that way. But I kind of want to give you an idea of what you need to do in order to build this and have it actually work because I built some, uh, I built a couple and none of them actually worked. Uh, I think we're going to move right over the map. Yep. There's the line and immediate damage and we're done for wonderful. But you can see, you can adjust the output however you want. Wonderful. So we don't need hardly any of these because there's way, way too many here that we cannot even do anything with anyways, even if we wanted to, uh, it's, it just breaks the game. So you don't need to break the game. Uh, but we'll go ahead and take those out and then let me just show you how we actually created this and what I did. So basically what you're going to do is you obviously have to have the hyper tubes unlocked. What I did and my, my way, specific way of starting this was I basically got the supports and put them every half foundation. So you can see right there, there's the end and there's a line right in the middle. Place one there, so on and so forth like that. Easy peasy, right? It's super easy. Nobody can mess it up. Now, what you also want to do after that is you want to throw a entrance on every single one of these. You want to make sure that the entrance ring, you can see how the ring kind of goes from side to side. That means the entrance is on this side or this side. Is basically put one of these on every single one of these guys to get your, uh, your cannon fully operational. And then once you've done that, uh, like I said, I would say max it at 20. You can, you can, you can always hop in wherever you need to if you want to do some like adjustments and things like that. And if you have a jetpack and you're actually trying to get somewhere to explore somewhere, you can do that and survive. It's not that big of a deal. But then you want to get your hyper tube and then you're going to want to place your supports down right here in the middle. Now, you don't want them touching like this because if you haven't touched like that. It's not going to really work. So just place them right in the middle, just like that. Go through, do all of those for your entire length of your, <laughs> your railgun. I guess if you want to call it, I don't have no stuff, but anyways, you would continue that and then remove the supports from the ends of the tubes, because then you have your tube just chilling there like that. You shoot out, shoot in good to go on your merry way. So, uh, well then you also, you also have to power them. So, <laughs> but once you do that, you will have your cannon. You'll be able to do the things you want to do. Explore fly at the speed of sound. I guess if that's something that you're into, cause it's kind of. Uh, you know, it is what it is. There it is. There's your cannon. There's your yeet cannon. So if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, or if you've done anything exciting with this, leave a comment down below. I'm super excited. Uh, I want to, I want to know or join the discord poster pictures. It's absolutely hilarious. 
absolutely hilarious we had a good time building this it was it was fun it was fun and exciting and stuff but what's really interesting is it's never actually loaded the map for me before so like every time i've done this i've, I've never actually had the map load because you can obviously see obviously i shot out that way but then when i shoot out this way it doesn't work uh let's shoot for should we shoot should we shoot north what if we put what if we put a full-on turnaround on this bad boy would would that even work i don't know would it work i mean it looks like it would it looks like it would work let's go ahead let's shoot north on it <laughs> it's just, we're just gonna turn around one two three and four all right so we're gonna shoot for like uh 6 14 wait hold on one two three no this is 14. 15, 16. Let's go with, uh, let's go with 16. And away we go. Now, is there anything else over here? I don't think there actually is, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, nope. There is not. We are right on the edge of the border there. <laughs> We're just gonna fly to our death. That is wonderful. Oh. Oh. Oh, a lot of fog. What happens if we just keep falling? Do we just keep falling? We are still definitely moving away. Oh, and we're done. That's as far as it would let us go. <laughs> but yeah, that is how you build it. If you guys want to play with it, build it, do it as you see fit. You know, whatever. It is your game. It is what you want to do. Now, is it useful? Maybe if you if you really wanted to get somewhere far away and you were going to build a whole separate factory, you could use that with a jetpack. Bring the stuff to make another one on the way back. Uh, you're going to need a decent amount of power, though because each of these if i'm not mistaken how much is power this costs 10 so if you wanted 18 you're gonna need 180 power and unfortunately the little biomass burner only gives you 30 so you're gonna need a, you're gonna need a little bit but you could use that you could throw a jelly pad possibly or you could try to aim yourself to the water every time i don't know but i mean i guess i guess this it is a means of transportation if you really need it that's actually gonna end this episode i want to keep this one super short i want to make it just for that so if you guys were curious about that that's how you do it that's the things that's the stuff Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. Check out twitch.tv slash doing gaming if you guys want to catch some live streaming action. Next episode, we are actually going to talk about this because guess what? There's some there's some stuff going on here and I'm pretty excited about it. But that's going to be for the next episode. So you guys have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next one.